In the previous tutorial, we created a custom post for our recipes. However, the current layout is quite basic and resembles any standard post type in WordPress, featuring the title, content, author, and featured image. To enhance our website, we require additional fields for inputting data such as meal prep time, cooking time, nutrition details, and more. Therefore, we must create custom fields. Before adding custom fields for our new recipe's post type, it is important to identify the required fields and strategize the process accordingly. The custom fields and taxonomy specified in this guide are essential for reaching our objective, so let's begin by creating custom fields. To create a custom field, navigate to ACPT and click on Field Groups. A field group is a collection of all the custom fields. Therefore, all custom fields that we make together are called field group. To create a field group, select Create New Meta Group. This is where you control your custom field groups and assign the location where they will appear, such as in posts or pages. Next, provide a label for the group. In this tutorial, we will call it Recipes Custom Group to indicate that this field group is associated with the recipes custom post type and set the location to post type is equal to recipes. This is where we will display the custom fields we are going to make. Navigate to the top right corner and click on Add Meta Box. Then, assign a title to this meta box. In our tutorial, we use Recipe Details. Once you've named the meta box, you can add fields by selecting the Add Field Box option. Now let's go ahead and add a couple of custom fields. For our first custom field, we will add cooking time and select the field type as number to ensure only numerical inputs are accepted. We will also include a preparation time field, which will be used to record the amount of time needed for preparation. We will then include a serving size field where we can enter the suggested amount for each dish. We will include a difficulty level field to show how challenging the recipe is with choices ranging from easy to difficult. We will add the Ingredients field and set the field type to Repeater field. The Repeater field is used due to the variability in the number of ingredients that a recipe may include. Some recipes may have only a few ingredients, while others may have a larger quantity. We will include an Instructions field that will use the Repeater field type as well. This will enable us to include a varying number of steps and instructions for each recipe. Lastly, we will include the Nutrition Information field and set the field type to Repeater field.
Once you have completed filling in all the necessary fields, make sure to save your changes. You can now see the overview of field groups showing the group name, label, and number of fields, along with the location where our custom fields are assigned. Let's check our custom post type to ensure that the custom fields are displayed correctly. Everything looks as we anticipated. In the next tutorial, we will populate these fields and display them on the website using the Bricks Page Builder.